how do I draw a third customer journey map to bridge um, the as is and the to be map? So mm. um, maybe uh, I can give a little bit of context in this situation because I uh, this is a question I got from Daniela uh, through the through the mail uh, recently, and basically the situation is uh, they're creating a customer journey map of the current situation of the service they are building, mapping uh, the, the, the stages, uh, and they know that they will be expanding the journey in the future. This is not the end journey. This is like minimal viable product or service journey. And they also want to map the to be journey, like how would it look or should it look in three to five years? And now the question comes, if you have those two maps today and five years, how do we bridge that gap? How do we create the, um, how do we make this reality? Should we create another map or what is the approach here? Yes, I have done it in several projects where we created an as is map and a to be map and then created evolutional steps in between. So, with several maps with uh, one minimal viable product very close to the as is and then maybe in a, a more desired uh, with a bit more resources in the future i i think that's a way to do it if you just look at it from a service designer's perspective creating a lot of maps when you look at it from a an operational from a business perspective it's super stupid in the first place to create as is and to be maps because then we have to keep looking at several maps we have to keep updating several maps how do we relate to the as is when two months when we have been been going two months the as is is not an as is like anymore uh, mm, mm. so this was one of the challenges when we started to create at castellans five years ago to make it possible to create the same everything in the same map so we just have to update and relate to one map and this is what we see people are doing today that they create several lanes for if it's an assist or if it's to be if it's a uh, minimal viable product if it's a desired situation um, or if it's the 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 ultimate solution you will never reach that. Uh, I, I think uh, if the question is, should we do a third map between ASIS and to be, the answer is yes. But a better answer to this is stop doing ASIS and to be maps. Make mm. it all in the same map. Make it an operational map. Yes, because what I we we done this, we have done this, and I saw it so clearly that when we put everything in the same map, okay, it would be a bigger map, it would be more complex, but you will draw everybody's attention to one map, and you could keep updating that map, that map. I've seen that. Of course, there are problems with that as well because it would be big, but the problems are so much smaller mm. than the problems with as is and to be maps and bridge maps. So put them in the same map. <clears throat> okay, now I can imagine that there is a desire for some people who wanna show a situation like, um, like three years out is really, <clears throat> is really far out. Yeah. And adding that to, um, to our um, uh, operational map, a day-to-day -day map, <clears throat> one, it might, I can imagine that if you wanna uh, have conversations with the CEO or other stakeholders, you don't maybe don't want to show them the you're working the, the map you're working on. You just want to show them the future vision or use that to guide development. Mm. Okay, uh, showing showing managers a desired future to be situation that's uh, dangerous because managers, C level people, usually, usually think that what's been said and thought is already done hmm. so it's it's the best thing is to show where are we today where do we want to be in the future and how are we going between a and b 
Yeah, and, and that's the question here, I guess, right? That's that's the bridge uh, yeah. we're talking about. So how do you show how do you show that? Yeah, and I think that the best thing is to to keep it in in the same map. And if you are not confident with putting up everything up front, just put it in in sublanes in Castellans and have the sublanes for how do we solve this today? Uh, how will we solve it in the future? And w what are the middle steps? What is uh, possible to make uh, <clears throat> what could we possibly do today uh, i see this as, as the, really the best practice on, on doing this because <clears throat> the minimal viable product is what could we what can we do with the it we have today in the future we will have a different it solution then we could do this but what can we do today so having like three three parts at five years what could we do now how are we doing it today in sublanes and sublanes. just close them and don't you don't need to show that to the sea level people if they're not interested in details mm -hmm. so basically uh, adding some kind of roadmap milestones in uh, the journey in the map yes yes i i think that's a that's a general really good thing to do Hmm. to looking at the journey map as a change plan and not as a as a uh, right. as an image right 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 yeah that's a like a like a shot of the a snapshot like a snapshot yeah. of of the situation right yeah 